tariff regulations to be implemented with respect to electricity in Grenada. Stay with us, we'll have the details to that and much more when the National Report returns. Welcome back with the news in detail for Tuesday, 22nd May 2018. I'm Delroy Loza. The Public Utilities Regulatory Commission will be implementing tariff regulations with respect to electricity in Grenada. That's according to Public Utilities Minister, the Honorable Gregory Bowen. He was speaking during a recent meeting of the House of Representatives. The tariff refers to a return on investment. So you'll walk back. If the return on investment is 8%, you will walk back and calculate the rates, Mr. Speaker. There are certain um, areas, for example, in Dominica. Special group did not like when this was introduced, and they left Dominica. We hope, Mr. Speaker, that we'll be able to take a different foot in here and that um, entity will respect the tariff regulations and the regulating authority of the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission because those regulations were not done by the government of Grenada. They were done by international experts using best practices worldwide, Mr. Speaker. And so everyone should be happy to abide it. Minister Bowen explained that under the arrangement, the social fund will continue. The social fund is operated in this way. The consumers will pay and it will show on the bill a certain level which will be equivalent to the same amount that is being expended now by the government and Grenada and Grand Lake in doing social projects throughout the country, Mr. Speaker. In fact, all the consultants, and we see that there is a loophole in the mechanism which allows the company to cease the social fund if they figure that there is not sufficient monies coming into them. This is not, Mr. Speaker, what we call social corporate responsibility. This is where the entity will take its old funds. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And just so you can be granted um, one minute Grant, to granted. just wrap up, Mr. Speaker. We'll take its own fund to do what is on, but now the public will be paid, and this will go to the social fund. So whoever wants to stop anything can stop anything, but the social fund, Mr. Speaker, will continue. In related news, the Senate will sit at 3 p.m. this coming Friday, May 25th, at the Grenada Trade Center Annex. With the Caribbean Development Bank offering to provide technical support to the Ministry of Education's strategic review of its operations, Education Minister the Honorable Emlyn Pear says there is need to forge a stronger bond with stakeholders. Over the last few weeks, the Ministry has been engaging stakeholders like NULO, TAMCC and staff of private, primary and secondary schools, among others, on the way forward. The Education Minister says it is time for the Ministry and stakeholders to work together in the interests of education. We want to start a new page of identifying the issues, but every party making a greater commitment to addressing those issues. Because a stakeholder, so let us say for example, a stakeholder is in principles, sitting there and blaming the ministry for everything, identifying the ministry as the reasons all of the problems in education exist will not solve the problem. Unless the principal and the Ministry of Education decide let us cooperate closer, let us work harder, let us work closer together, those issues would remain. Issues raised between both sides include student performance in math and English, curriculum review, school management and leadership, and sensitization of available scholarships. Minister Pear says of critical importance is shaping the ideal Grenadian student. CARICOM is also having that same discussion, but the CARICOM citizen, Mr. Speaker, and that seems to be a, a, a burning point, a burning concern to so many of our people. What is happening to some of our students within our education system? Those that are being left behind, those that might not be very academically inclined, how are we catering for them even more? You're watching The National Report. We're now due for a break, but stay with us. We'll have more news after the break. Look up now! What happened now? My name is Jalen Olive, better known as Boise, better known as the Madras, your cultural ambassador, four times Soka Monarch at Grenada, two times OECS Monarch and two times Roadmatch, inviting you to Spice Mass 2018. 
this will be the one to experience. Well, Carnival Friday night is the biggest night because guess what? One stage, one night, two competitions, groovy and power. And guess what? Your artist may be the one. You never know. Come out and see who take the title. Foreigners come down to see it. No vibes, no energy. Rag, flag, bandanas. It's pandemonium on that night. So you don't know. I mean, I will be defending on that night. So make sure and be the Carnival Friday night. So come on. Number five. John! Then put your hand up in the air. Rag up in the air. Put, put your flag up in the air. Put it up. Stand up in the air. Put it up. Put it up. So come on. Welcome back. Grenada is hosting a three-day meeting this week that will look at the link between climate change, the environment, and commercial agriculture. The Vibes In Boot Camp will run from Wednesday, May 23rd to Friday 25th at the Kalinago Beach Resort. Vibes In is a youth outreach program through which the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB, will engage the youth of Grenada directly on regional development issues. It precedes the 40th annual meeting of the Board of Governors of the Caribbean Development Bank, which is scheduled to take place here at the end of this month. Areas to be embraced include climate change, its causes and implications for the environment, food security and climate smart agriculture. Meanwhile, approximately 400 delegates, including government ministers and officials, private sector representatives, members of civil society, academia and media are expected to attend the CDB meeting next week. The event will highlight the impact of the bank's investments in its 19 borrowing member countries. And finally, with the 2018 hurricane season just around the corner, the Ministry of Agriculture is redoubling its efforts in helping Grenada become more food secure. Jerry Malcolm explains. You know, in selection of your planting material, you want to ensure that you select your best yam. There are certain conditions that are required for you to get maximum production. And you think with nematodes on the tubers, it may not look very bad even when you harvest, but it continues to feed on the tubers while they're in storage. Laying the foundation for a more food secure Grenada through the production of roots and tubers. A training exercise on the growing of yams was held in the big parish St. Andrew dubbed the nation's breadbasket. To increase yam production by 20-25%. Uh, we think that if we do that uh, you know, over the next two, three years, we, you know, and we continue uh, you know, year after year, we, we're well on our way to be self-sufficient in, in terms of food crop production. Many can still recall the near crisis situation of 2010, when there were insufficient roots and tubers because of severe drought conditions and the shortages which arose following Hurricane Ivan. We still import, you know, um, um, root crops from St. Vincent, you see Tanya, you see yam sometimes, you know. So we want to ensure that we are, from a food security standpoint, that we are there. Farmers in St. Andrew were very grateful for the training. The new thing, basically, I learned is how to fertilize the, use the TSP. I learned that you put, the fertilize the, the area first before putting in you know, you're dashing your yam. So I'm happy that I came. It's techniques that we always do before, you know. It's techniques that we develop now, that we learn, so that we know to do it the proper way. And Most of the farmers in my conversation with them here welcome the training, and um, I think we should see some better agricultural practices with them. Now ending the national report, we recap the top story. Tariff regulations to be implemented with respect to electricity in Grenada. And with that, we conclude the national report for Tuesday, 22nd May, 2018. On behalf of all who made this newscast possible, I'm Delroy Luzon, thanking you for joining us.